Jamie Hayter and Hikaru Shida in the main event for the AEW Women's Championship. Now, up until this point, right before this main event, I literally put out a tweet going, my God, the trios. Well, I didn't say my God, but I was thinking it. Um, <laughs> the trios championship at this point was the highlight of the show. And that was it, my opinion. Until this main event happened. Until this main event brought back some life. Ended up ending the night on a really, really strong note, okay? So this was Jamie Hayter's first official championship defense. Even just like the final moments of this match where we had Jamie Hayter uh, do that sliding lariat that she always does. And she hits it on Cheetah. She, did, she goes for the pin and Sheeta kicks out. Uh, afterwards, we see Britt Baker get involved. Sheeta gets her with the kendo stick. Hater ends up reversing a powerbomb attempt from Sheeta. And they kind of go back and forth here. Another couple of near falls here. And then finally, all leading to the victory from Jamie Hater. The way that they howled the crowd and the way that people were reacting and all of the back and forths that they did here, my favorite part after this match ended was they... Uh, went to a shot of the crowd and there was this little boy in the crowd who was just like, <gasps> you know, really freaking out. And to me, that said so much more than I think a lot of people realize because, you know, there's always people, you know, saying this or that about women's wrestling and blah, 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 and all of these other things that people say and this and that. And when you see uh, a young fan, especially, you know, a young boy in the crowd reacting this way, to a women's match, that right there, my friend, was really freaking cool to see. It was so cool to see that. And that little moment to me just meant a little bit more than I think a, than people might have noticed. But um, I want to talk about how what this signifies, because it has been a little bit rough for the AEW Women's Championships, okay? Championship picture, excuse me. Tony Storm. She had a pretty good run as champion, okay? But I wouldn't say that the crowd was completely behind her the way that they are with Jamie Hayter. And she was having good matches and this and that, right? But there was still like a missing ingredient with her reign, okay? It may have been because she was interim women's champion and that took a lot. And it wasn't until way later when she lost the bout that they decided to recognize her reign as your regular AEW Women's Championship reign. Prior to that, you know, you had Thunder Rosa as champion and they didn't really do much with her as champion. So that hurt the championship. Then you go into Tony Storm and everything she did, she added so much more, but she still had the interim title. So there was still that missing ingredient there. Then finally, you know, uh, Jamie Hayter becomes champion and, uh, you know, they have Renee Paquette announce that she is now the official AEW Women's Champion and that, you know, Basically, Thunder Rosa was relinquishing the bout, that type of thing. And first of all, I was so happy that they did this because you really needed to. Uh, you really, really needed to do that. You needed to have her as women's champion, not interim champion, but women's freaking champion. Okay, it just means so much more. <laughs> so then you also had this being her first title defense. They did a lot of good for her. And by that... They put her in there with a really great opponent, Hikaru Shida. And they did, you know, the in-ring stuff was great. On top of that, it was the Dynamite main event for a special edition episode with Holiday Bash, okay? And to me, having all of those things be factored into all of this, it just really helped the start of Jamie Hayter's reign. It finally feels... Like we're going to get a real AEW Women's Championship run. A nice, legit one. Because I feel it's been a hot minute since we've had a really strong AEW Women's Champion. Somebody that the crowd is behind up. Somebody that's going out there and is going to, you know, be pushed by the company to go out there and have all of these, you know, really cool matches. Is being positioned. Positioned is the key word. To Go out there and have these opportunities, you know? And they positioned her, again, by being the main event on Dynamite. Having her in the ring in there with Hikaru Shida. All of those things matter. And they add to 
they add to her championship reign, thus adding to the belt, thus adding to the entire AEW women's division. Okay, so this mattered a whole lot because I think it's going to, it, it just feels like a nice start. Like we're starting again. And I hope that they really make Jamie into a strong champion, a dominant champion, because we need a dominant AEW women's champion. We need a fighting champion too. So I really, really hope that they keep treating this reign for Jamie Hayter um, just a lot better than they have for, you know, in the past. Um, I want to see it because it's just going to help make things so much better for the AEW women's division. And, you know, they've been doing a great job with Jade Cargill, but that's not the main belt. The main belt is the AEW women's championship. So it shouldn't feel like the secondary belt. And for a while, it kind of did feel like that secondary bout. So um, I'm really looking forward to, based off of the start here with Jamie as AEW Women's Champion, I'm looking forward to what this is going to mean for the future uh, of not just her, but the belt and the division itself. Because even afterwards, we had Soraya run out there, uh, you know, attacking Brit. We are still waiting to find out who Soraya's mystery partner is going to be at the LA show. Uh, people are still thinking it could be Sasha Banks. We still do not know. We'll find out. I have no idea when, but we'll find out. Um, so there's just a lot to kind of be excited about right now. If you enjoyed this clip and want to check out the entire podcast, feel free to click on the screen to watch my AEW Dynamite Holiday Bash review show on F4W Online. And also don't forget to click that subscribe button here on my channel.